let us look at a little history and understand the methods this enemy has used in the past and how it is secretly working today. Let unveil the secret terrorists. Are you ready? Let's go. The Jesuits have caused more turmoil than any other organization ever known to man. They have been banned by almost every single country, including Catholic ones. The Reformation began in 1517 when Martin Luther exposed the papacy for what it was, a devilish counterfeit of God's true church. Many other reformers came after Martin Luther, all of them branded the papacy as the Antichrist. The papal power over Europe had been broken. The papacy was mortified. Ignatius of Loyola met with Pope Paul III with a plan to counteract the Reformation. Ignatius' plan of the Order's organization of 1539 was approved by Pope Paul III in 1540 by the bull containing the formula. The Society participated in the Counter-Reformation, and the Society of Jesus was born. There was no crime too great for them to commit, no deception too base for them to practice, no disguise too difficult for them to assume. Vowed to perpetual poverty and humility, it was their study aim to secure wealth and power, to be devoted to the overthrow of Protestantism, and the re-establishment of papal supremacy. When appearing as members of their order, they wore a garb of sanctity, visiting prisons, hospitals, ministering to the sick and poor, professing to have renounced the world, and bearing the sacred name of Jesus, who went about doing good. But under the displayless exterior, the most criminal and deadly purposes were often concealed. I was fundamental principle of the order that the end justifies the means. By this code, lying, theft, perjury, assassination, were not only pardonable but commendable, when they served the interest of the church. Under various disguises the Jesuits worked their way into offices of state, climbing up to be counselors of kings and shaping the policy of nations.